Sell gold now. I'm your host, Steve Van Meter, and thanks for joining me today. And our show today, a rare chart pattern is now confirming that it's over for the big metal. It's going to plummet. We're going to show you where the point of no return is at. Now, we're not talking about your physical metal. We're talking about a trade here and why you may even want to get short because the miners, that's right, they're going down with them. Plus, we're going to take a look at the technicals, momentum, and more importantly, the machine positioning of the broad equity market, make our case for where we think that's going, the bond market. Market. And of course, we're going to talk about gold, the miners, and our recovery trade. We've got an update on that for platinum as well. All right, let's head over to Goldman, where we pick today's story up and find out just what the machines are up to. And if you're wondering what we're doing in the gold mine today, well, we're looking for a way out. Here we can see the tactical flow of funds. This from, of course, Goldman. The supply and demand mismatch, they say, is continuing. They're suggesting this is a no-rules market. There's a supply and demand mismatch, and those dip buyers are already very full, meaning they just don't have the capacity to take the market a whole lot higher. And it's been trading an escalator up, elevator down behavior. He says, it's time to take a look at a thread. And the thread says, from the machine positioning here, what we can know in an up market this would be the black is one standard deviation the red is two the machines are indeed would go and be buyers again even in a flat market here we can see a little bit of machine buying but not a whole lot if stocks turn and go lower watch for the machines to be big sellers in a major way we're going to show you here it's not just the ctas it's also the vol control strategies the risk parity strategies as well and here what you see in a vol control these are machines that as volatility goes down they buy equities and then at some point they leverage up into those positions uh, what i want you to see here is they are maxed out on their positioning. And if volatility were to spike, which usually happens when stocks go down, you're gonna see the CTA selling, you're gonna see the vol control selling, and the risk parity as well. When we take a look at systematic positioning in U.S. equities, we can see why the machine positioning is so important here. That's shown in red. This is why we have our CTA Timer Pro program that you can get for 30 bucks a month. It shows you how the machines are positioned with a historical overlay because when you see this relationship, you know you want to trade with the machines, not against them. And that's for U.S. equities suggesting that if prices go down, the machines are going to lead the market on the way down. We talk about of course the global positioning here as well on global equities we've been talking about how china is likely headed lower and their equity prices here you can see the machine position again about to make a bigger move lower when you factor they're looking to hold on to their gains something we tell our subscribers and you every week hang on to them you stop losses when you make money at some point cash in and when you take a look at the s p 500 right now this is from td securities we're looking at 44.45 to buy under 43.40 to sell so the bands here are pretty tight on those positioning it's over to nomira look at this over 4600 to buy i mean you're talking back near all-time highs before you get any push under 42.50 to sell so really not a lot of movement from nomura they're pretty locked in on their positioning but let's take a look at our own screens. We see momentum on the S&P still negative. We've been pushing 17 consecutive daily sell signals. This from this report down here on the bottom, this is called Momentum Timer Pro that looks at multiple technical signals, smooths them all out for you. It's saying for the last 17 days in a row, they've been negative over the last one month. It's got a max sell signal. Over a three month, it's still holding a buy signal, but you can see this red arrow is shifting down. And over a six month window, it's still holding a buy signal, but those are looking to head lower now we've got to buy it open still at 40409 that back on march 30th we told you set your stop losses at 432.88 that held because prices didn't get that low they bounced up you may want to move that up a little bit we're going to leave them there because the rsi is looking to move up a little bit and macd has it bottom we'll take a look here in a moment upside target revised to 450.75 downside at 413 we're going to say the 200 day moving average is our target to the downside. 
Let's take a look at the chart here. We've got the two year chart. And what I want to note is you can see the R, uh, the MACD, you know, it looks like it's trying to bottom, but if it doesn't turn up here, it's going to roll over and head down. The RSI did not get to oversold territory. The trend looks to be lower here. We'll see how that plays out. But I've noted before, we talked about everyone thought we're going to break new highs. We're going to go and it's just going to rock it from here. I said, it's not going to happen. There's a supply zone. All these people that bought up here, they're going to want to get out. And here we see them selling. We've got a cross of the 50 day, a confirmation up to the bottom of it. That is a bearish signal when you see that happen, suggesting prices come lower. Maybe a hold at the 100 day moving average. We'll see. Base case in takes it down to the 200 day. We've got our stop losses at 432, so we can hold on to some of those gains. But right now, this chart pattern is not overly bullish. You've got a little bit of a left shoulder ahead and a right shoulder forming, suggesting that again, we're coming right back down to about 413. That's if you're looking for a trade, that would be where you wanna see support hold and then a bounce from there. Let's take a look at the tech stocks. We've got our positioning here. Momentum remains negative. The RSI is 46, so just about the same as the S&P. MACD's got a negative cross. 18 consecutive daily sell signals. Now remember, uh, we had that buy it open at March 30th. We had their stop loss, 359.24. That was indeed stopped out and just leaving this up here for those who missed it. And obviously I missed a letter in that as well. The stooped out, no, it should be stopped out at 13.9% gain Friday's close up to 364. Upside target 375, downside 338. But look at the machine position here. You can see the CTAs are still a little bit short. Now let's go back to the S&P. You can see they're short and they're buying up a little bit. That kind of is what TD Security suggested. There's not a lot of activity here, but indeed on the tech stocks, they're kind of holding this position. We see on our Momentum Timer Pro, we've got a max sell signal on the one month window. Let's take a look at the chart and see what's going on. And here we can see a similar story here. We kind of called this move up to about 380. It got up there. You see a little bit of a left shoulder, kind of a head, a little bit of a right shoulder. That same dynamic, a cross through the 50 day. That's that green line. Re hit the bottom of it, got rejected, is now coming down. It tells you this is indeed kind of a bearish picture. Gives us a notion that we're going to get down somewhere around this 336, possibly lower. Uh, there is a potential this moves all the way down to 320. If it did, there there's your much larger area of support. If it gets down there, that would be where we look to take a trade to the upside. For now, that's a 200 day moving average. First target, 338 on the QQQ. Now, so let's take a look at the bond market now and see what's going on here because there's not a lot of movement, but what I think is coming, this is one of those, you know, where I think is a big trade. Now we're looking at gold at the short side here in a bit. We think the equity market's coming down with the bond market, it's been beaten up, it's been battered up and everyone's looking for a big trade. I think this is one of them. Let's take a look at where the machine are holding on this. And what we can see from TD Securities, they're under 4.05 on the 10 year to buy. They are not sellers anymore. We've noted that for the now last couple of weeks. Same with Nomira, they are not selling. See all this red? They say here, CTA legacy bond shorts remain deep, but we're socializing buy to cover, suggesting that any much move higher in this, the machines are all coming out of those short positions aggressively. That's where we're saying you want to be ahead of those machines. That's why we have a report from you. Again, both reports linked in the description below. Now we talked about this rectangle pattern kind of moving along and then it broke down in a big way. We know it's probably the Chinese banks selling treasuries to get dollars to buy yuan to support their currency. Are we seeing something like a spring here in the charts? This is a Wyckoff bottoming pattern. Let's take a look and see. Because we got momentum's now positive on TLT. We got the long bond here. RSI is at 45. MACD, positive cross. So we see momentum building here. So next thing we should see is our machine positioning. This is our CTA timer bro right here. I'm going to be watching for this. When this comes off that minus 100% position, we're going to add another. So we're going to teach you how to do a recovery trade here. We're going to show you how well the platinum one's working out using our reports. So right now we've got a buy it open at 106.88. We're down 
down at 95.22. I'm gonna show you how we can reverse that. And we know that our Momentum Timer Pro Report pick, picking up two daily buy signals. So keep an eye on this as that moves. We've got validation, momentum, machine positioning. We've got it all. Upside target, 97.33. Downside target remaining unchanged down here at 92. Let's head over the charts and see what's going on. And when it comes to TLT, here's kind of maybe that spring where everybody got out. And what happened here is why this it kind of shows up in the charts. And it doesn't have to look exactly like what Wyckoff suggests. Is this is where you see everybody just piles in on one position. They aggressively get short. And next thing you know, there is no one left. Everyone's short. And what happens? You get oversold on the RSI. You get oversold again on the RSI. The MACD momentum starts to turn up. It's got that cross trying to build positioning here and now you're looking at a move up to the 97 range up in here and what will happen if that follows is the machines are going to start short covering because they're deep in these positions they don't want to get annihilated on they want to cover and hold some of those gains and that will cause an accelerant of price to the upside and there's your case for again bonds being one of the biggest potential short-term trades available right now plenty of upside potentially even if you watch the daily show as the economy continues to slow all right let's talk about gold here buying over 1935 announces from td security selling below 1890 so of course we're going to be covering here what the critical level of support is we've been noting triple top very very rare everyone said why didn't it break down sooner I said hang tight you have to work through all the buyers once they're done we're going to show you the signals again today where that line in the sand is it breaks there i want you to see where the machine positioning here is because the machines don't care about technicals all they care about is price and holding on to their gains. So when this breaks this level, you see that 1890, very, very important. Keep an eye on that. All right, let's head forward here. As we take a look, we have talked about that triple top from the Holy Bible of technical analysis saying, look, if you're looking for a reversal, it doesn't get much better than that. Let's start talking, let's talk about gold. The ETF, GLD, we'll look at, of course, the futures. First of all, momentum, now turning a little bit positive. Price has moved up a little bit. RSI at 46. MACD's got a positive cross. Even our own bull mem time bro. Two consecutive daily buy signals. Right now we're saying no position. I'm going to give you the line in the sand. If it breaks that, that would be our short position. I didn't nail it on the slide, but I'm going to tell you what when we get there. That's where I would call to be short this. Upside target 182. Downside target still down 170. I think I moved that up a touch. Look at the machine positioning. It covered a little bit, came back up on the shorter side here. These are our fast algorithm. Look for that to not go a whole lot more. The long term, this is looking at a, a, a longer signal. It's holding a long position about to break to the downside. Let's take a look at the charts. And here we can see where is GLD somewhere down here on my chart. I know you there it is. And let's zoom back out because look at this that volume profile line at 182. Boy, that has been a sign of selling. So that's key to know. Let's zoom out to the one year chart. It's starting to look toppy here. You don't have you have a left shoulder ahead, a right shoulder, and you have a cross here. And I don't know if I can quite draw it in, but we will give it a run for the money. You have there it is you have sort of your neckline right there and what can we note with that and that's just an approximation it broke the neckline it may come up and try to reconfirm it maybe we've got it in the wrong spot those of you who are draw more lines than I do. You can see maybe we got some upside here into that trend line, a break of, of a rejection there tells us this indeed means gold is coming down. There's your signal. If the MACD rolls over, we do know the RSI got to oversold territory, buyers came in, but they're running out of steam. You see it, they just didn't get much push on that. Let's take a look at gold futures here because this is the point of no return. You get under like 1900, we'll say 1916. 1916, you break. You break the 200 day moving average. The tan line here, it's over. You can see the sellers here very clearly at 1965. They want out, the, you notice, the price came down and it bounced. Buyers came in aggressively, but they didn't get very much out of it. Price comes down again, buyers are back. Not much of a move to the upside here. Was telling you the buyers are running out of steam. If they can't drive price up and the sellers dominate, 
break of 916 that's where you want to get short where's price going after that now you're talking down here to 1820 potentially even a little bit lower if it gets down here that's where you want to be looking to take a long position as a trade because that's where you can see there's a ton of buyers but as of right now the spring and the bounce on this ball are pretty weak to telling us the downside risk here to gold is big and not only gold but how about the miners We've talked about a double top on GDX being a potential position of a signal to go even longer, but right now it looks to be a selling position. And we can see momentum remains positive. RSI is at 42. MACD's got a positive cross. Even our Momentum Time Pro has turned slightly to the buy side, but probably not for long as we'll make the case. We got no position on this. Friday's close at 28.40. Here's your downside target. This is where you want to be looking to buy. It's 26.62. Upside target, slightly revised, 29.21. Let's take a look at GDX here and see where it's going and look at that beautiful pattern here it didn't get down quite to our buy zone and that's important because it still says there's some room to move down but this chart i remember i told you there was like a left shoulder ahead a right shoulder and many of you said i said they said no 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 that's not going to happen i said look there it is telling us if we break 1962 gdx is going a whole lot lower on a technical basis I still think there's buyers there. We're gonna find out because look, we got a cross of the 21 day, this red line, a reconfirmation and rejection at the bottom. Price comes down. I think you're gonna see buyers here. If we don't, watch out below. But if we do and you see this pick up a little bit, I think there's your short-term trade, maybe upwards to the 50 day moving average. So keep an eye on that as it comes because I think that's your last chance to buy GDX before you need to get out and price comes down in a big way. Of course, we know the economy is going with it, so that's no surprise. Let's talk about the dollar, which I think is about to get weaker. I tell you what, last week when I said the upside target, I really didn't think it was going to get there, but we we had 2902 as the upside target. Friday's close, 2901. How about that? Got close. I'm going to put the next one to 2927. I still say this is very, very low confidence. It gets there. This is obviously a reaction to the Fed that everyone thinks has control of the dollar, but doesn't. Downside target, 2834. Momentum Time Pro is 24 consecutive daily buy signals on this you want to look for a reversal here's the case machines max out to the long side look at this momentum time pro one month window max three month window mid six month window mid it's telling you at some point this thing is stretched and only likely to head down let's take a look at uup then we'll look at the dxy look at this thing it just shot up everybody thinks the fed's got this they don't have anything at some point it gets rejected here's my next target here 29 27 maybe a little nudge up to that then the next pull down 28 34 and i think of course if you look at global trade you look at the global economy dollar loses interest here only because if the economy slows demand for dollar slows we're at overbought territory there's your signal reversal coming soon and the macd is slowing down here so keep an eye on that let's take a look at the dxy busted through its 200 day moving average but look it only got right back about where that other peak was so we see the ball comes down bounces doesn't get a whole lot comes down bounces gets less bounces gets a little less gets really deeply kind of oversold here and then all of a sudden the buyers rush in but really they're kind of running out i think they're going to run out of steam and if not they've got maybe up here into the 105 low 105 range and I think they're going to find out that they're overcommitted to that trade. But one thing you shouldn't be overcommitted to was our platinum. Because remember, we didn't put a stop on this. We told we didn't give you a level. I told you we're going to do a recovery trade just like we're doing TLT. Momentum is positive. It turned. I told you it would. RSI's at 58 and rising. MACD's got a positive cross. Momentum time broke five consecutive daily buy signals. So if we see momentum turned up, and then I told you we we're going to use the CTA report. So on 7:13, we had a buy it open at 89.36 on August 23rd. We had that position move up off the short. There it was. If you're a subscriber, you can go look. 85.96 comes our second purchase. Those are both on the open. Cost basis now 87.66. Look at this Friday's closing 87.21. We're 40. 
five cents off. Do you think we can get that? I'm going to tell you what, 200 day moving average, that's my sell target for here. Upside to 91.98, downside at 82.54. But I told you this thing was going to turn up and buy. And now let's take a look at the charts because sure enough, it did. And that, my friends, is how you do it. If you don't use stop losses or you forget to and it goes against you, don't panic. You don't have to. Some people just like to sell. It's okay. There's a way to recover. But we said, look, this thing gets down here. And what happens? It gets beaten up. It gets beaten up. And in the past, when it does that, it has a big rally. I'm putting the 200 day moving average on the position on the place that's the exit maybe it goes higher maybe not but look at all that volume profile there on the two-year chart that's where people have been selling so there's your run up there or if you want to just get out on even you can do that too but that my friends is how you do it and that's our case for our show today we see equity prices head lower bond prices headed higher gold lower platinum up dollar well maybe a little higher before it goes down. And with that, I'm Steve Van Meter. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being fans. Bye now.